I'm Doug Williams with Farpoint. Our series on dovetail plates continues with part three. Today I'm going to show you how to mount V-sized dovetail plates on your telescope. V-sized dovetail plates are 1.7 inches wide and they come in a variety of lengths to fit any size OTA. Need 7, 8, and 10 inch V-series dovetails screw directly into your OTA without radius blocks. Here I'm installing a V dovetail on a Mead 10 inch OTA. See part 2 of Farpoint's dovetail video series for general dovetail installation tips. Celestron scopes require radius blocks with V dovetails. Here I am installing a dovetail with radius blocks on a Celestron 11. Don't remove this screw. It's not needed for dovetail installation and it has a nut on the end that will fall into your OTA. Only remove the two screws that are in line. Same thing here. Don't remove this screw, only the two that are in line. The Celestron 8 requires radius strips and a spacer puck. The radius strip goes to the rear of the OTA and the spacer puck goes on the front of the OTA. The dovetail then attaches to the OTA with a screw through the center of the radius strip in the back and right through the center of the spacer puck in the front. The Celestron 9.25 and 11 inch OTAs require radius blocks and screws. Different radius blocks are needed for the different sizes.